Are you looking to move to Philadelphia and would like to know what's one of the most safest neighborhoods here in the city? Greetings fellow Earthlings and viewers across the world wide web. This is Tune215 and right now we're in the state of Pennsylvania. We're currently in the city of Philadelphia. Today we're going to be taking a drive through the Chestnut Hill neighborhood. We're at the intersection of Willow Grove Ave and Lincoln Drive. We're going to make this right hand turn so we can explore the residential portion of this neighborhood. Chestnut Hill is located in Northwest Philadelphia. It is known for its high incomes of its residents and high real estate values, as well as its private schools. This is said to be one of the safest neighborhoods in Philadelphia, with the exception of a handful of neighborhoods probably in the far Northeast Philadelphia. Let's make this left-hand turn at Crefield. We're at Willow Grove Ave and Crefield, the 8,000 block of Crefield. We have a female walking her dog. We're driving through a tree-lined block, many beautiful, large homes. We have another resident on our left-hand side. He's picking up leaves. He is cleaning his property. So the village of Chestnut Hill was a part of the German township laid out by Francis Daniel Pastorius and came to include the settlements originally known as Summerhausen and Crefield, as well as part of Crescim. Allow us to make this right hand turn. Check out all of the vegetation and greenery on our left hand side and very, very tall trees, very tall trees. So now it appears that we're driving towards the more traditional residential homes. There is a mixed variety of homes. There are single homes detached and then there are homes in twin, as you can see on our left, they're in pairs. I will be making this right hand turn on Renoki Street. We just came off of Abington Ave. So this neighborhood served as a gateway between Philadelphia and the nearby farmlands. During the American Revolutionary War era, late 18th century, the area was one of many summer vacation spots due to its higher elevation, 400 through 500 feet or 120 to 150 meters above sea level and cooler temperatures than the historic center city. Chestnut Hill is stereotypically known as one of the more affluent sections of Philadelphia. Let's make this right hand turn because I want to take you guys to the area with more of the larger homes. Now these homes are beautiful. You can see they're small row style homes, but this neighborhood is known for its, its behemoth large size homes. Let's make this left hand turn on Crefeel. We had went right earlier, now we're going left. We'll probably take this right or back around the corner to Lincoln Drive. So during the American Civil War, Chestnut Hill was home to Mower U.S or Mauer U.S. Army General Hospital, constructed to serve Union Army soldiers. We're at Springfield and Crefield. Let's continue moving forward. Let's move forward one more block, and then we'll make a right. Now, another neighborhood that is close to this that is also can be considered equally as beautiful, some parts of it, Mount Airy. Mount Airy is not far from here, and there are some areas of Mount Airy with huge homes also. Right, we're at Moreland Ave, Crefield and Moreland. Let me make this right hand turn on the 100 block of Moreland and check out some of these properties on our left and on our right. First of all, just notice the gates. Notice the gates. 
then you would literally have to point the vehicle to one of these properties to actually see the distance from the property to the street side. So let me try to pull right because the sun is shining on our left. So I'm gonna try to pull right. So you guys can get an idea. Look at this property right here. Not a bad property, right? And they get bigger and they get more extravagant looking. That one actually looks like it's had some stucco work. But for example, like this one coming up on our right hand side. Hold on, let me point the vehicle to it so that you guys can get a good look. This one's charming. Look at this one. Very charming property. The address is 111 West Moreland Ave. Philadelphia, PA. Now make note, this isn't Westmoreland as in Westmoreland, like G and Westmoreland in the Kensington neighborhood. This street is just called Moreland. M-O-R-E, like more, give me more money. Moreland Ave. But you got to put West on it. So it almost sounds like Westmoreland because we do have a street in Philadelphia called Westmoreland with the West in front of the Moreland. So I just wanted to clarify that in case you guys look up the property value and then pull up something that's worth pennies in Kensington. <laughs> compared to here. We're at Moreland and Navajo, or Navajo. Look at these houses right here. For example, this one right here in front of us. A nice chunk of property. Nice chunks. A lot of land. Look at those side wall that protects this property on our left-hand side. Look at that wall. Look at those stones. Those stones, I promise you, are easily probably 100 plus year old stones that came from the bottom of one of these uh, river banks here in Philly. Even this house right here. This house right here. I'm sorry, guys. I'm using my vehicle as a tool so you guys can get a better perspective. Look at this one right here. Look at that. It's really close to the street side, but that just gives you an idea of the styling. So you got some historic and notable architecture in the area. You got the Angel Cot, made in 1883, designed by Wilson Ear, Chestnut Hill Historic District. The Drum Moor or Moir Historic District, which includes a Romanesque revival mansion made in 1883 to 86, designed by GW and WD Hewitt. We're at Mermaid Lane. Mermaid Lane shoots to our left, Cross Lane shoots to our right. Navajo and Mermaid Lane. Let's go right. Hopefully this doesn't take us to anyone's private property. You have several other notable locations such as the Wissahickon Inn, which is now known as Chestnut Hill Academy, High Hollow, Inglewood Cottage, Van Venturi House, and more. You got public transportation lines nearby. Two SEPTA regional rail commuter train lines serve as Chestnut Hill's transportation line. Then there's buses and there's also trolleys in the area. You got Chestnut Hill College in the area also. And there's several private schools from K through 12th grade. So if you're interested in placing your child in a private school and you wanna live in a peaceful area that still gives you easy access to the city, such as Philadelphia and surrounding counties, this may be a potential neighborhood for you. Parks, arboretums, and recreation nearby. You got Pastorius Park, Wissahickon Valley of the Fairmount Park System, Morris Arboretum of University of Pennsylvania. And if you're into like extracurricular activities and things of that nature, let's make this left hand turn here. We're gonna turn left on Springfield Ave. We're on Lincoln Drive, but we're gonna turn left on Springfield Ave. So you got the Philadelphia Cricket Club nearby, Wissahickon Skating Club nearby. Let's make this left right here so we can see this little block. Look at that house right there on the corner. Wow, the sun, there you go. The sun was doing us dirty. So I'm sorry guys, sometimes the sun creates a glare. Do you see that house? That's a pretty nice house, right? Those are functional shutters. 
They have a nice yard space surrounding the property. And what you notice is that it's like everybody maintains their own property and takes care of their own property. With that being said, it all adds to the value of the neighborhood. So you have probably over a dozen notable people that's from the Chestnut Hill area. I'll name a few, such as R. Tucker Abbott, which is a malacologist and author. Willie Anderson, golfer, winner uh, for the US Opens. We have a crazy pothole on my right hand side. Let me try to be careful here. Got some gentlemen on our left working. They look like they are probably on lunch break. Ouch. You have E. Digby Baltzell, author and sociologist, or sociologist. Maud Banks, which is a tennis player. Joe Daly, professional golfer. Francis Bolin, Algernon Sidney Biddle, professor of law at the University of Pennsylvania Law. Melissa Fitzgerald, who is an actress. William J. Green III, former mayor of Philadelphia. We got a lot of potholes in front of us. You have David Morse, who's an actor. Alec Unsworth, who is a musician. Alan Porter, Major League Baseball umpire. And more. Even the CEO of the Cam of the Comcast Corporation, the CEO Brian L. Roberts. Wow, look at this little road that we just exited. It almost appeared to be like a private road, right? Wow, check this out. We're going downhill too. This is pretty steep. Okay, allow us to go left. Let's make this left hand turn. Look at the houses on my right. You see how they're elevated? Now, I know you're probably wondering, what's the crime look like in the area? Well, based on areavibes.com, the Chestnut Hill neighborhood receives a whopping B plus rating when it comes to crime and safety. We're passing the 200 block of Cross Lane. Total crime in Chestnut Hill is 33% below the national average. Violent crime is 33% below the national average. And property crime is 33% below the national average. Wow, how's that for a three for three? Okay, we're gonna continue traveling. This is the block we originally started on, 7900 block of Lincoln Drive. Now, Chestnut Hill is a lot larger than what you guys see here. Wow, look at this property. Let me show you guys these properties pushed off away. Look at those, those are hidden. Those are big and they're hidden off of the street side. There's so many trees in front of them, you might not even be able to make out how large those houses are because they almost camouflage with the property. So key findings show that in Chestnut Hill, you have a one in 64 chance of becoming a victim of crime. Chestnut Hill is safer than 78% of the cities in Pennsylvania. Okay, we're gonna make this left-hand turn on Willow Grove Ave. Now I have documented Chestnut Hill in previous years. So if you wanna check out my previous Chestnut Hill videos, you can do so. I cover different areas. I'm not always able to cover the entire neighborhood in one sitting. All right, we're passing Navajo Street, the 8,000 block of Navajo. Now, as of recently, there was a shooting, unfortunately. And when you look up shootings via Google as a search engine, and you type Chestnut Hill shootings, very little shootings come up. Just this one most recent shooting that happened comes up about a dozen times, which happened a little over four days ago. Well, it depends um, on the source that you look at it because ABC reports six days ago, but I remember it was about like a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks tops, where it was reported that it was a, a man and a woman found deceased in a vehicle and they found out it turned out to be a murder-suicide. She was a salon owner. And I believe after she was gunned down, the shooter turned the gun on himself. 